Hi, hello and welcome. This is your favorite chef Shribala. I hope you would love my recipes. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to turn the notifications on. Enjoy and happy cooking. Hi friends, I am back and today it's going to be from the Agraharam series. We are going to see a recipe called Arachota Sambar, a traditional way of making a sambar with freshly ground masala. Come, let's see it. Let's start making the Arachota Sambar. The ingredients needed are given here. Kindly make a note of it. The Badge Chilli or the Bangalore Chilli is only for the colour. Do not leave any of the ingredient. Note them properly. First we are going to make the masala. I am adding some gingerly oil and I am adding first the coriander seeds. We need to roast it till you get a nice aroma. Next goes the Bengal gram. That again needs to be roasted golden brown. Next comes the chilies. I am using the Guntur long chilli and the Badge chilli for the colour. If you don't have bad gay chilli, you can just use the guntur chilli, not at all a problem. Next, black pepper, cumin, black gram, fenugreek. Rice. Rice gives you the body for the sambar and uradal also that is the black gram also will give body to it. That's why both are added but in a very very minimalistic quantity. That is only in teaspoons. After switching off add the grated coconut and mix it nicely let it cool completely. In a large vessel, I have added oil, again gingerly oil I have added, in that I am adding the shallots. You need to select the shallots which are very small in size. Roast them completely, then add the drumstick. Drumstick should be really fresh to get a nice aroma and taste. Then goes the radish. You can see the way it is cut round and thin slices. This is my father's favorite sambar, and he used to love this. And whenever he used to travel outside and come back, he'll call me and say, Make the sambar and keep it ready. Then add salt. See the way I'm showing that is the amount of salt you'll be adding. This the spoon doesn't work here for salt. Add water for the vegetables to boil nicely and it should boil in high heat. Now I am going to grind the masala into a wet paste and keep it aside. The vegetables are boiled so I am adding the tamarind pulp. After adding the tamarind pulp, it has to simmer nicely for the rawness to go off. I am adding jaggery also. And it has to boil in slow heat. Now I am adding a pinch of the rock asphotida. After it has boiled nicely, 
time to add the freshly ground masala i'll show you the way i have ground it also it is not too smooth too coarse that is the way you need to grind it mix it nicely then the boiling of the tuwar dal or the pigeon dal is also the way it has to be boiled is it has to be visible each dal has to be visible mix it nicely it will be too thick now so adjust the consistency and give it a nice boil again in high heat this is about 2 to 3 minutes of high heat boiling time to season it seasoning you can do it with coconut oil or ginger oil whichever is your preference after crackling the mustard black gram and pinched red chili sprigs of curry leaves you need to add a pinch of turmeric because it will give a nice color to the sambar on top very very small quantity of turmeric time to pour it on top as soon as you pour you can see the color it changes the way it changes so a yummy arachuta sambar my father's favorite is ready to be served i hope you would love this recipe and give me your feedback until we meet again you can always follow me in all the other social media the links are given in the description